Welcome everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to show you all how to render your videos with DaVinci Resolve 17 and using Handbrake in order for you to upload your videos faster at 1080p, 60 frames per second to YouTube. But as well, make sure to check out the timestamps down in the description if you want to skip over a certain part of the video. But first, we need to get into our render settings first and then We'll go on to YouTube to upload our videos. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is make sure that you open DaVinci Resolve 17. And I am using the free version of the program, not the paid version, just the free version. And so we'll make sure to open whatever project, whatever video you're working on. And we're going to go straight ahead to the delivery tab. So now we are here in the delivery tab. And the one thing I recommend that you do is make sure to go down here and render and make sure you have it at entire timeline. Of course, you can switch it to in and out depending on how many videos you're going to render and everything like that with this gray bar, but it's up to you. And now we're going to move over here to the top left. And there's a lot of presets that you can choose for your video. But the main two that mostly people use is either YouTube right here or Master. And the one that I use is Master. And of course, you could kind of keep the settings here, but I do change them. And of course, you could change it right here if you want to. but I mostly go again to the left and just hit custom and then I start to change all of my settings right here. But good enough, I already have a preset ready for you guys that you want to copy for yourself. That is fine. As you can see right here, these are all the settings for video and audio is mostly going to be at default, but those are the settings. Same thing for events. They're all the same, like nothing has changed. Everything is mostly at default besides from the quality right here. But of course, if you want to save it, all you have to do is go to the little three dots over here, save it as a new preset, and then name it whatever you want to. Click OK, and then your new preset will be over here to the top left. So what I mostly do for my videos is I keep it at 30, 30K. Of course, yes, you could switch it to 12K, 15K, or 25, you know, 30 again, 40, or whatever number you want. But just remember, the higher the bitrate, the higher the quality, the higher the file size. Lowering the bitrate, the lower quality, the lower the file size. And yes, there is a way to still keep your original quality while reducing your file size thanks to Handbrake. But don't worry, we'll get into that in a little bit. But as well, the reason why I keep it at 30 is kind of like the sweet spot for 1080p 60 frames per second. But as well, you got to remember that even if you lower the quality, like I said, to 12, yes, it will still look okay, but it's not going to be the best quality because remember, YouTube does compress your videos. Your mileage may vary depending on that, but it depends on you how much action, how much stuff there is in the video, but you have to do a lot of tests. But for me, I always keep it at 30K and make sure your encoding profile is at high. And everything else should be at default. You don't need to change anything. And of course, the last thing you need to do is just name the file, whatever your video is going to be named, put in whatever location, add it to render queue, and I already have the video ready, which is job number 17 right here. As you can see, it took me around eight minutes because I have a good enough CPU to render the whole entire video, but it's going to be different for everyone out there. But right now I'm going to show you the video so you can see for yourself that it looks really nice and clean at this bitrate. So we are here, guys. This is the file that we just rendered or that I rendered, basically. And as you can see, if I go right click, go to properties. And the whole entire file is 1.5 gigabytes, which I think is pretty OK. But just remember, it all depends on how good your upload speed is. And of course, if I go to details one more time, Right here, as you can see, the total bitrate is around 25 megabits per second. So yes, it did not use the full 30, but it almost got there. But I was able to at least get enough bitrate so my video can look very nice. But right now, I'm just going to play the video so you can see for yourself that everything comes out really nice and clean, really nice and clear. Right here, I used the media player, which is VLC. It's an open source media player, and you could download for free. But as you can see, everything looks good, really nice and clean, nice, good quality for the bit rate. And I have no problems every time rendering at 1080p, six frames per second. 
But right now, everyone, we're going to take this video and I'm going to show you on how long it takes to upload at this file size to YouTube. So let me just pause the video. Let me just go to YouTube and I will just start uploading the video. Okay, now everyone, we are going to upload the video to YouTube. So here it is, the DaVinci Resolve video that I render. Just go to click and drag and put it right here, upload videos. And now it's going to start uploading the video to YouTube. But remember, everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to have different internet speeds, but it all depends on how long it takes you to upload the video. But as you can see here, over 20 minutes, 20 minutes to upload just a eight minute video, which is kind of harsh, but that's probably because I don't have good enough internet speed or upload speed for me to upload much more faster for YouTube. So unfortunately, that's how I had to do it uh, all the time before I learned about Handbrake. So I had to wait this long in order for me to upload my videos to YouTube. But right now we are going to switch over to Handbrake so we can keep our original quality video, but lowering our video files so that we could upload to YouTube a little bit more faster. So now everyone, I have Handbrake already open. And of course you can download it for yourself and it's free. But of course, this is what we're going to use in order for us to keep our original quality while reducing the file size so that we could upload to YouTube a little bit more faster. So all you need to do, you could look for the file, whatever you want to right here, open file. And of course, I already have my file right here and I'm just going to click and drag it. And now the video is ready to encode so that we could do all that stuff to upload our video a lot more faster. But I'm going to show you the presets that I use basically. But all you need to do is go over here to the right where general is and select whatever preset right here. You go with fast 108030 and or we're going to change it right here in the settings. But I already have a preset so you can follow along and just set up the settings for your handbrake. So right here in summary, make sure that you have it at MP4 and make sure you have it at web optimized so that whenever you go to upload to the web or to the network, it will be a little bit more easier to play back your video. So it really helps out a lot when it comes to uploading videos to the internet. You do want to check on that. And of course, align AV start, you want to keep it there just at default and everything else. That's how it is. Now going to dimensions is basically your resolution. You don't need to change anything, but if you do see numbers right here, make sure you hit to custom and make sure everything is at zero, zero and zero, zero. So if there's any numbers right here, you probably do have to change it, but either way, everything should mostly be at default. So now moving on to the filter tab, there's nothing to change here guys. Just leave everything at default. And now finally right here in video, this is where everything happens. So what I mostly do is mostly keep everything at default. As you can see right here, X264, have it as same as source for my frame rate. I have it at constant frame rate because I'm apparently right here in variable frame rate. They say it's not compatible with some players, so you got to be careful with that. But I mostly keep it at constant frame rate. Now, optimize video. I keep it at fast because if you go to the right, yes, your videos is going to look a little bit more better, but the rendering times is going to take a while or your encoding for handbrake. So I always keep it at fast and it's been working well with me. But of course, yes, I could go. A little higher if I want to, but I mostly keep everything at fast. Now it's going to depend on your CPU, how much it can handle and how much it will render, but you have to do some tests. Right here in tune, just keep it on none. You don't need to change anything. Profile and level. I keep both at auto. Of course, yes, it could change this to high if I want to, but I mostly keep everything at auto just to have everything at default or same as source as my video. And then finally, going right here to RF, I mostly use 21 as the quality number. Of course, if you go to suggested values, are 18 to 20 for standard definition, and then 20 and 23 for high definition. But of course, you go to the right, more quality. You go to the left, lower quality. So you do have to play around what works best for you. But for me personally, 21 has been great. Of course, yes, I could go higher if I want to, but that's also going to increase the loading time for the encoding. 
And one last thing right here, NVIDIA Codec. I know there's some other ones right here. I have tried the NVIDIA Ink, and surprisingly, I get more of a file size than a lower file size. So not sure what's up with that. But at the same time, everything renders out very quick. So I'm not sure that's part of the encoder for, of course, NVIDIA, but that's how it is. But I always keep everything at X264. You can try X265, which is kind of like going to be the new encoder, hopefully in the future. But I mostly keep it at X264. And then finally, right here in audio, it's too bad that this does not say, but I always keep my bitrate at 192 all the time. And that's pretty much it. That's all the settings. But of course, if you do want to save it, all you have to do is go right here to add, name the whole entire preset, whatever you want it, and just click add, and it will show up right here in custom preset. But of course, one last thing is to make sure right here and save as right here in the file extension, whatever the name is, you want to change it to MP4. So you just erase this and just put MP4. And of course you could remove the dash one if you want to, so that once you render everything is going to make it as a MP4, I guess, format, but as well, it will show you the thumbnail because if you do leave it at M4V, it's just going to show you like just the thumbnail of whatever video player you have. It's not going to show you the thumbnail of the video. But that's pretty much it right now is I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to the video that I basically render out and is right around right here. This is the video. If I go to properties. Here it is. 500, almost close to 500 megabytes for this eight minute video, eight minute, 31 seconds, which is the video that I took from my DaVinci Resolve video rendering. And I basically just went in half. <laughs> But it does keep the original quality, guys. It really does. And so I'm going to show you right now as I open the video. And I'm just going to skip a little bit of the video so you can see for yourself that it does give me the same quality, even from the rendering video that I did in Division Resolve. As you can see, even for me on my monitor, everything looks clean, looks really nice. I mean, I just kept, you know, the same quality while reducing the file size. So basically you got to do twice the rendering, but Hey, it's much more better than not rendering at full 20 minutes or whatever minutes you have than what I'm going to show you right now, once we upload it to YouTube, but so far, everything looks great with handbrake. And I do highly recommend it that you do use it to test out what works best for you. But for right now, I'm just going to pause the video and now we're going to go to YouTube. And now right here on YouTube, I'm just going to get the file again, right here. I'm just going to click and drag at 476 megabytes. And right now it's going to give me how long it will take right here to upload the video. Just remember, this is a eight minute video. All right. Last time it was, it was 20 minutes and now it's at seven minutes. So exactly the same length as my video. Okay. Of course, not exactly, but very close to it. So yes, I still kept the original quality of the video and lowered the file size so I could upload my videos much more faster to YouTube. And trust me guys, all the videos that I have on my channel have been using with handbrake. Of course, not every single one at the time, but if you have watched some of my videos back then, or just some of the current videos, I've been using handbrake to upload my videos with that program. And I really love using the program because it really helps me out with my upload speed. And as you can see, it's already at five minutes. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how I render my videos in DaVinci Resolve for 1080p 60 and also use handbrake so I could keep the original quality while reducing the file size to upload my videos a lot more faster. But thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, but as well, make sure to check out my Twitter and check out my community page for updates as well. Leave a like and comment down below on what other videos I should do or what other videos you want me to do with this type of content. Make sure to leave it down in the comments below. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for me today. And I'll see you next time. Keep on playing and get for life, guys. See you later.